Welcome to Ox Tools, I'm Tom. Um, so the other day uh, we did a, a little video on uh, uh, called Where's Your Pin? And uh, um, it was kind of to, to pull together a couple of loose ends on a couple of projects that, uh, that I've shot some video on. Um, anyway, I suggested the idea of people uh, chiming in and telling me where they're from. And, uh, and then uh, I put some maps on the wall. and. Uh, so we're sticking pins in the maps where uh, where these different people are uh, are posting a comment. Um, anyway, uh, getting a lot of responses. In fact, I I had to start a little uh, I had to start a little notebook. So I bring them from the computer down and uh, and then put them up on the uh, put them up on the on the maps. And uh, we're going to go over and uh, and uh, put some pins in the map here in a little bit. Uh, we got a bunch of international guys to put up and. Uh, and a few in the U.S. Uh, to put up also, so we'll put those up in just a minute. Um, oh, in the uh, uh, in that same episode, um, we were I showed a uh, on the lathe over here uh, yeah, a bracket for uh, holding the tool blocks uh, in kind of a convenient position for uh, operations. And I didn't remember the number of the bracket. Uh, it's a Simpson strong tie bracket. Uh, and Home Depot has them. Lowe's doesn't carry Simpson, so that was my mistake. Sorry about that if you guys went and looked. But uh, Home Depot is the one, and this is the bracket here. And um, you can see it comes punched for a hole, and you can mount it, uh, you know, mount it on a wall or however you want to mount it. And then what I did was I just kind of rounded these, I tapered the end slightly and deburred the whole thing so the tool block slides on. And this is a, a, a Simpson. Uh, a24 uh, Apple 24 and I don't know they're, they're two or three bucks a piece something like that and I don't know they're 12 gauge or 14 gauge uh, galvanized and uh, they're plenty strong and anyway they fit those CXA uh, uh, tool blocks so that's those guys I uh, went to the flea market today um, and uh, prowled around a little bit uh, it was kind of hot, so uh, there wasn't a lot of folks there. So, and that's the noise you hear in the background. And no, I'm not going to turn it off. It's my fan. So, uh, um, I got the radio turned off, um, and half the time I forget about it anyway. So, anyway, that's my fan. Um, so there wasn't a lot of people there. So I cruised around and uh, talked to a friend of mine uh, that goes out there. And we got a few things we'll talk about here. This is a little mini tool review. Um, so this was the uh, <laughs> this thing keeps coming up in my life here for some reason. So this is this uh, abrasive stick holder here with the uh, the crappy knob that we've uh, fixed and uh, and made better. So, but while I'm walking around the flea market, what do you think I found? Well, I found another one, and um, this one's actually really cool. Um, so it holds. So it's got a screw adjustment. I haven't fiddled around with this yet but it caught my eye and um, it's also I don't know if you can see that it's curved so it's it's concave on one side and convex on the other and uh, and then it's got this screw that let's see what it does here I imagine oh, there you go so you loosen the screw up push that forward it looks like oh there it goes oh, okay I see how that works it's got a little spot huh. so it's got a little hollow there it looks like you can get the uh, you can get the abrasive under there and then you wind the screw up and uh, and it pulls it pulls the abrasive paper back in there now this one isn't flat this one's curved which makes it double interesting more interesting than this one so Let's try putting that back on and see what happens there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And that wasn't too bad to get it under there. Alright. Oh yeah, and it just kind of kind of drags it back. Wow. I like it. 
I'll, I'll get some close-ups too. So uh, um, that principle can be applied to a flat one. So this is made by the uh, Simpson Specialty Tool Company, um, Ignatio, California. It's probably Southern California, and uh, it says patent pending. Anyway, uh, it's kind of nice. Anyway, I'll get a close-up of that. Dollar, one dollar. So uh, yeah, this was the dollar day here uh, at the flea market. So uh, let's see, was it the same guy? Eh, I don't remember if it was the same guy or not. Um, anyway, this is a, a pipe separating wedge here. It's got a long taper. Um, seen a little bit of use here, but it's generally in good shape. Dollar for that. That's a forged steel wedge. Tips okay. So I'm always collecting wedges and uh, that kind of stuff. And then um, kind of an oddball tap caught my eye because it was a uh, real fine thread. This is a uh, 5 8 24 threads per inch. Um, and um, so that's kind of an odd thread. Uh, I haven't looked it up yet to see anything, but uh, um, you know, every once in a while you need a, a fine thread uh, or to chase a fine thread. And uh, anyway, dollar for that too. So, you know, how, how can I pass that stuff up for a dollar, right? You should just, you know, take all those dollar bills and go to the flea market and see what you can get. And then uh, uh, another pair of these, uh, these nice pliers here with the, uh, the, round, uh, the round legs here for forming rings. So you grab the wire and you, and you twist it and you can form loops and rings. What caught my eye on these is uh, um, they're, made in, uh, they're made in Germany and, and when I closed them, they closed up nice and tight and the line between them was very, very parallel and very straight when I held it up to the light. So uh, to me that was kind of a, a, a mark of good quality, they feel good. And once again, I'll zoom in on this stuff so you guys can see it a little bit. A uh, dollar for that too. So, you know, how can you pay? You know, I got five of those, right? Do I need six? Yeah, for a dollar I need six, okay? Um, and then um, this is a, a Morse taper adapter here. And this goes from a two to a three. And uh, it's a little rusty. Got some marks in it, but I think it'll clean up fine. And uh, um, I'm collecting uh, more taper shank drills now for the lathe. So uh, anyway, there's a sleeve dollar. So like I said, it was dollar day out there, and uh, um, pretty and you know, so it was a cheap date. Okay, <laughs> cheap date. Anyway, this was I think the big find for today. Uh, that's pretty cool, and uh, I'll zoom in on that in a second, and uh, we'll get a closer look at it, and then um, we'll put some guys up on the uh, on the, where's your pin. And um, and uh, go from there. Okay, thanks. All right. So let's look at this guy first. So you get a better look at that. You can see the um, the little um, the little puller there. So I'll go ahead and loosen it up. So when you back the screw off, and then you can you can push that forward, and it drops into that little notch right there that allows you to, uh, to fish the, uh, the abrasive paper in there. And you can, get a, you can get a better look at that there. And then this clip is just shaped in a way that, uh, that pulls back and drags the, uh, drags the paper up this ramp and tensions it. But you can see uh, how curved that thing is. So it's like uh, con, uh, it's concave and convex um, in the same file. Um, and then uh, there's the name Simpson uh, Specialty Tool. Anyway, that was uh, that was the big big cool find for the day. Um, here's these German uh, uh, jewelers pliers here, and uh, you can see the nice tips. Yeah, and they close up really good. And then here's this goofy tap here. Um, 5H24, uh, made in Argentina. Uh, I'll probably never use it. Oh, it's uh, actually one thing uh, that's kind of neat is 
it's uh, it's relieved in a little bit different way here. Um, you see how they relieved it. Um, it's got a, a, a hook form there, so it's got a positive leading edge. So um, it's it's relieved a little differently than uh, than a lot of taps are. So anyway, kind of neat. And then uh, you know, kind of a rusty uh, Morse taper sleeve. So oh, and one more before I forget. Here's the uh, the Simpson bracket here. A little close up of that guy. And uh, I. Uh, I put a lead on these corners here and then round all this stuff off so that it's nice and smooth for the tool blocks. Okay, let's uh, do some of our uh, international uh, viewers here. Um, so I'm on the international map. So the response has been uh, pretty awesome with the, uh, the suggestion here. So uh, we're gonna stick a bunch of pins in and the uh, first one is uh, Andrew Moffat in uh, Christchurch, uh, New Zealand. That's down here. So we're going to stick a pin in for, uh, for Andrew down there. Nice dark one. And um, now i got to mark these off so I can keep track of them. Because <laughs> there's a bunch of them. And then uh, we swing all the way over uh, to uh, Scotland over here. And uh, up in Edinburgh, Edinburgh, I think the, the laser pointer is probably better there. So there it is right there, kind of uh, northern UK there. So um, we're going to stick a pin in for that. There we go. And I got these nice big fat headed map pins now, so uh, I think they're going to be better than those other ones I started out with. Um, so let's see, we got uh, Finyart, Netherlands. Uh, that's Marcel Vanderboom. Okay, so uh, uh, let's see here. And south of Rotterdam. Well, that's a pretty it's pretty small on the map, so we got a bunch of guys in the Netherlands, so there's going to be a bunch of pins right there. So that's for uh, Marcel. And uh, then we got uh, Waz, down, Mr. Dodge Builder, down in, uh, in uh, Sydney, Australia. So we come way down here, Sydney. There's a bunch of guys down in uh, in Australia that uh, that watch the channel, and then we got uh, one for Steve-O. Uh, Steve also in Sydney, Australia. So we're gonna jam another pin in there somewhere, something like that. Thanks, Steve-O, and. Um, Next is, uh, we got Chris uh, in Bremen, Germany. So, uh, another one for Germany here. Let's see, where's Bremen? Uh, I'm not sure. Stuttgart, Frankfurt. Okay, well, this map doesn't have a good enough scale there to uh, see some of these uh, uh, other cities here. And, oh, we got another one. Uh, uh, step on uh, number two, and he's in um, Gelsenkirchen, Germany. So we got a bunch of viewers here in Germany. Okay. Next, uh, oh, uh, Dunmow, uh, England is our next one, and uh, this is Connie, Connie the Terrier. And where is it? That's uh, north of London, slightly. So we're going to stick that in a little north of London. And the, the colors don't mean anything, guys. So uh, um, it's just what contrasts on the map so you can see it. So um, <laughs> don't, don't get alarmed if you get a red pin or a, uh, a blue pin or a whatever. So it doesn't mean anything, OK? <laughs> just to be clear. Um, all right, let's see here. What's next? 
I gotta filter the list here for the international guys. Uh, another, uh, we got, uh, okay, some of these names, you gotta give me a break here. Seagis123, he's in Bairnsdale, Victoria, Australia. So, uh, that's down in this region here. All right, we're gonna stab that in right there. I can I got this zoomed in, yeah, okay. And, uh, oh, then we got uh, Owen Giles, he's in South Australia. Uh, Adelaide, which is right in here. Ooh. So, uh, oh yeah, Kangaroo Island, oh yeah, that's right there, look at that, okay. All right, thanks for the comment, Owen. And, uh, and then we got a guy, uh, his handle is Metric, and uh, he's in Denmark. And uh, here's Denmark, oh, right there. All right. Uh, oh, then we had this one I uh, uh, thought was interesting. His name is uh, Giovanni Brazzoli. And uh, now with, with a kind of an Italian sounding name like that, you would kind of expect him to be in Italy, right? Well, he's actually in South Africa. So, uh, um, so Giovanni is in South Africa in uh, Cape Town. Which is right there. Doink. All right. Okay, then we got uh, Do It Yourself Man, and uh, he's in uh, Sirte, uh, Libya. Uh, Sirte. He spells it Sirte. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to go with that. He's on the Mediterranean there, that's cool. And uh, then we got uh, Pierre Rabenholt Christensen. And uh, he's in Denmark. We got another Denmark. Another Dane here. Let's stick it out in there. I worked with a Danish guy uh, years ago. Axel was his name. <laughs> um, all right, where else? Oh, then we got uh, Flip De Boer. He's in Amsterdam. And uh, quite a few, uh, quite a few Dutch, Dutch folks uh, on the channel. All right, well, this is gonna, this is gonna get crowded here. <laughs> I can see that right now. All right. And, uh, oh, Ragnar Show. He's in uh, uh, Rainier, Germany. All right, another German. German. Oh, let's stick that in there. Oh. All right. Okay, and then, um, then we got, uh, we got uh, Daniel Salar. And uh, Daniel's a welder in, uh, in Croatia, uh, which is right here. And um, he does, uh, he's got a welding shop at home and then he works during the day as a, uh, uh, at a company that builds uh, big conveyors. So we're gonna stick one in there for Daniel. Okay, so that's it for the international folks right now. Then we'll do the, the US guys. Okay, so uh, we're on the, uh, the U.S. here now. Um, so we're gonna stick a few pins in for, uh, for our viewers. And uh, let's go ahead and do it. Um, so we got uh, John Bear, and he's in Oakland, uh, which is right here. And uh, the colored pens don't mean anything. Uh, it's just what I have, okay? <laughs> Actually, uh, let's uh, trade colors there. All right, so that's John Bear. Yeah, he's not too far away from here. Then we got uh, Frank Frolic. Uh, he's in Atlanta, Georgia. All right, and uh, let's find Atlanta over here. 
So he's right in there. So a big Clorox plant there in Atlanta. And uh, next we got uh, Invest for me. He's in uh, um, Raleigh, uh, North Carolina. So he is, where's Raleigh? There's Raleigh right there. That's the capital. Uh, we're going to jump one in there. For him. Her or whatever. Okay, and then... Uh, Oh, we got Don, uh, Donald um, Cossett, and uh, he's in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. So, uh, um, so from his description, east of Bend, where's Bend? Uh, Salem, Vancouver. There's Bend. So he's east of Bend. So he's he's out in the middle of middle of here somewhere out in the in the boondocks out there he's got a ranch I think somewhere out in there so let's uh, all right we're gonna stick one in right about there Wait. let's try that tell me how I did Don um, see if I got it close <laughs> all right oh then we got uh, John Sopchak and uh, he has a welding shop in uh, in uh, Rockaway, New Jersey. So let's find that. Uh, so here's New Jersey and Rockaway. Where the heck is Rockaway? Mystic Islands, Dover, Chester. Well, you know. I don't see it on Rockaway on this map, so I didn't look to see if it was southern, uh, southern or northern. So we're going to stick one in there for him. Um, we'll just stick one in Trenton there. Uh, I don't know where he is in relation to Trenton, um, but anyway, uh, John's got a uh, welding shop there, and so welding. So if you need something uh, welded or need a piece of metal, go talk to him. All right. And oh, then we got uh, we got Slow Earl. Slow Earl is a constant and steady commenter on the Ox Tool channel. So he comes up with some pretty good questions. And uh, he's out of uh, Danvers, Massachusetts. And uh, now I got a friend in Massachusetts there, uh, Earl. And um, you have to go down to Sturbridge to visit him, though. Okay. All right. Where was it? Um, Danvers. Oh boy, I don't, I don't see Danvers. So uh, we're gonna stick a pin in Wooster for you, okay? So uh, just to uh, um, just to mark a spot for you. So I gotta look it up and see where uh, where Danvers is. I'm not I'm not positive. Okay, and then we got uh, Turbo Addict in uh, St. Louis, Missouri, and. Um, Kansas City. Oh, St. Louis. Here we go. So I spent a little bit of time in St. Louis at a at a factory there, um, and um, we were doing some work with some. Uh, it was a chemical plant that made uh, tablets for uh, for pools. So uh, that was right in St. Louis there. So all right, all right. Well, these go pretty quick, but. Uh, Let's see what else we got. Oh, okay. Then we got uh, Bill uh, William Brown in um, uh, Nashville, Tennessee. And um, oops, that's Knoxville. Sorry, Nashville. There we go. Nashville, Tennessee. That's the capital. And then uh, 787 Roof Dog. And uh, he's in uh, Renton, uh, Washington. Let's see if we can find Renton here. Oh yeah, there's Renton right there. Uh, right up near Seattle. Actually, I'm going to trade this pin here. This was for uh, Greg Bone in 
Seattle Precision. So, and then we're going to stick one in for Renton there. Uh, no, Renton right there. Okay. All right, and then uh, Jay Burton in Medina, Ohio. All right, boy, we're just bouncing all over the place here, aren't we? Uh, Medina, Medina. What did he say where? Medusky. Medina, Athens. All right, well. Let's see. Medina's not jumping out at me, so we're going to stick one for, in Columbus there. And, uh, and that's for Mr. Burton. Oh, here's a great name, Cryolith. I love the name. That's a great handle. And uh, his name is Matt, and he's in Santa Clara, which is uh, right next door over here. So we're going to. We're going to stick another one in there. You know what? Stick away one in there. Okay. All right. And then we jump all the way across the United States to Orlando, Florida. There's Orlando right there. Uh, that's Paul Brown. Thanks for the comment, Paul. And uh, oh, then we got Kicker 700, Frisco, Texas. Now Texas is a big place, so I don't know where Frisco is. Did I know down there? No. So northern, southern, eastern, western, I'm not sure where Frisco is. Um, boy. Alright, well, so we're gonna we're gonna guess here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I should I guess I should look these up and see uh, about where they are. Well, we're going to... Hmm. All right, we'll stick it in for Austin there. Um, i got to look that one up. I may move that one. Uh, Texas is so giant. Uh, I, could, I could be miles and miles off. All right. I think we're pretty close here now. Okay, so then we got... Uh, um, G.S. Gump, and uh, he, had, uh, he owns a company called Scott's Machining uh, in Idaho, in uh, New Meadows, Idaho. So you got to give me a big city close by because these maps don't uh, don't have all the cities on them, and uh, it's. Uh, um, so you need to give me a kind of a major city that's close by. That, that would be helpful. All right, well. What was it, New Meadows? New Meadows, yeah, I don't know, I don't see it. So uh, we're gonna do a Boise for uh, Scott's Machining. So you can look him up on the web. Um, and he has a machine shop there, so. All right. And I think the uh, the last one I got for now for this segment is uh, Tim Rippiger, and uh, he's out of Cincinnati, Ohio. All right, there's Cincinnati, oh, right there. All right, so uh, I don't know. I'm having fun with this. This is kind of cool, and uh, we're getting some. Uh, we got people all over the place. I don't know. We're kind of devoid in the middle of the United States here. So uh, all you guys in Kansas and Nebraska and Oklahoma and Colorado or whatever, uh, chime in and we'll get you some, uh, we'll get a pin up for you. And then uh, um, I got nobody in South America uh, and nobody in Canada. I know that's got to be not true. 
And um, so keep them coming. This is kind of fun, and uh, we'll keep going with it. All right, boys. That's about all I got for this one. Um, it's a little short one, and um, this is uh, we put a bunch of pins in for the, the folks all over the world, and uh, we'll keep this going, and maybe I'll. Uh, insert these in the beginning of the uh, videos or maybe we'll just make them standalones with the tool reviews, something like that. Um, uh, it seems like there's enough here that uh, this could almost be a video on its own and we can talk about the, the different stuff. So um, I just went and looked at the computer and there's a whole bunch more uh, that came through on the comments. So, uh, uh, but this is the end of this episode here and we'll, uh, we'll shoot another one soon. And uh, we'll stick a bunch of pins up, and uh, uh, I might need to get some different maps, too. We'll see. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, appreciate the support. Uh, it feels great to, to know you guys are out there watching this stuff and enjoying it. And uh, I do appreciate that, and it keeps me going. And uh, um, knowing that, uh, that you guys like what's going on here. So uh, uh, plenty more where that came from and uh, we'll keep it going and, uh, and thank you very much for the feedback and uh, we got to fill in some of these blank spaces so uh, tell a friend anyway talk to you soon